What's happening, everybody? James Hancock here. I just saw a flick that has definitely cracked my top 10 for the year and possibly cracked my top five, maybe even cracked my number one. It's a film that just came out a couple days ago here in New York called Tony Erdmann. It is a German film, and it is a German comedy, and it is two hours and 42 minutes long, and you will not want it to end. Now, you're probably thinking, German comedies? Do the Germans even make comedies? I mean, I love German cinema, but usually when I think of German cinema, I think of guys like Murnau, who made the original Nosferatu, or Herzog, who's great, but not necessarily known as the world's funniest man, or if he is funny, he's unintentionally funny, or Rainer Werner Fassbender, or Wim Wenders, or any of these kind of famous guys. It's got a very rich film culture over there in Germany, but very rarely do you come out of them tap dancing and laughing and having an uplifting overall sense of well-being about life and its possibilities and not taking things too seriously. But Tony Erdmann is a movie that just put a massive smile on my face. And Tony Erdmann is a movie that has probably my two favorite movie moments of the entire year that just had me screaming. I'm trying to think of anything that I saw this year that was particularly funny. I mean, I laughed kind of like in a geeky way during Captain America Civil War. I feel like Anthony Mackie was funny as hell in that. But I can't think of any outright comedies this year that blew me away. But yeah, how can I describe Tony Erdmann? It's basically it's a father-daughter bonding story. It's a girl who works extremely hard. She takes her job very, very seriously. And her father is just eccentric, and he's just trying to get her to lighten up a bit. So he just kind of keeps showing up unannounced, sometimes in disguise and sometimes creating these scenarios where she has to kind of play along. And he just kind of drags her through all these different situations. And slowly but surely, he kind of cracks away. I guess he helps a little bit, but on the other hand, she also goes through on her own as well. I've never even heard of the director who made the film. Her name is Marin Ade, and she's produced a lot of films in Germany, directed, I think this is her third feature, and she sent two shorts. Never heard of her until I saw this movie, but I will be watching all of her movies henceforth. I mean, let's just say, if you like nudity and comedy, this might have the funniest, embarrassing, like awkward nudity moment in movie history the central character has a party and she's having trouble kind of just getting it all together. Like her dress is malfunctioning and she's got all these like superb hors d'oeuvres and everything's kind of like to the nines. And at the last minute, right as she's having trouble with her dress and the door, uh, doorbell rings, she just like, fuck it. And she dispenses with the dress, answers the door in her stockings and underwear. The guest is really, really, you know, embarrassed. And she kind of pretends like there's, it's no big deal. And then the, when the doorbell rings for the second guest, as she's walking to the door, she's like, fuck it, and chucks her panties away as well and just creates this weird scenario where everybody who shows up has to get naked or they're not allowed inside. And what it leads to is just like 10 minutes of just comedy gold. There's also another scene where she and her father just spontaneously decide to entertain a party of total strangers, a party they have crashed. The father just starts jamming to Whitney Houston's greatest love of all and she just bursts forth with this incredible rendition of the tune and it's just chill inducing it's just I don't know, if you are having any sort of bleak thoughts about the calendar year 2016 i know that's been a big popular thing on uh, social media recently talking about the election or talking about all the pop stars that have died and there's a lot of reasons people are saying like me at the end of the beginning of me at the beginning of 2016 and me at the end and they're you know all down in the dumps uh, someone pointed out that if you just had a party playing the pop music of all the pop stars that died in 2016. It would be a, probably a pretty damn good party. So we did, we definitely lost a lot of interesting artists. But also, it was a, a year of a bunch of sensational movies, and Tony Erdman is definitely one of them. So I prefer to, as Kevin Smith says, light a candle as opposed to curse in the darkness. So Tony Erdman, I don't know how long it'll take to be on demand or to make it to various cities. My hope is that it'll punch through. It's one of the films that has been shortlisted for the Oscar nomination for Best Foreign Language Film. Hopefully it'll win because my two favorites, Elle and The Handmaiden, did not get on the shortlist. It's a complicated process by which countries submit films to be Best Foreign Language Film, and I think uh, yeah, there's a lot of bureaucratic red tape. At any rate, Tony Erdman made the cut, and I couldn't be more happy. I hope you enjoyed this video. Not much of a review, just more me just kind of babbling incoherently about how much I love this movie, because I just walked out of the theater, and for nearly three hours, I was just howling. I mean, if you like weird, awkward, kind of cringe-inducing humor with long periods of silence, I mean, think about films like, about like Jacques Tati. Think of films 
maybe like Buster Keaton, but a lot of kind of stone-faced, very straight humor where you really got to kind of like hunker down. And I could tell like half the audience was not buying it at all. They just were not appreciating where it was coming from. And the other half was just pissing their pants. So I feel like if you like that kind of humor, now I don't even know how to describe it because I've never seen a movie with the humor, sense of humor quite like this one. So give it a chance. And after 45 minutes, if you're not howling, you know, take it, take a crack at something else. But if you can hang around for the nude scene, I promise you, it is one of the funniest things you will ever see in your life. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel. Give me a shout out on Twitter at Colrex if you wish to. And hope you have a very, very happy new year. So long, folks.